Number 25, jumping the jet. Reaching a speed of 73 miles per hour before launching off a 120-foot ramp, stuntman Doug Dancer successfully cleared the 160-foot wingspan of this passenger jet. Number 24, going for a spin. Getting out of six pairs of handcuffs and two leg irons, escape artist Rick Meisel took a few tumbles and nearly drowned before escaping the spinning washing machine. Number 23, the bus on fire. Breaking a world record, stuntman Steve Hudis jumped 15 motorcycles and flew through a giant fireball in the school bus before landing again. Number 22, the ultimate road rash. In spite of some minor injuries, Reno Jatney successfully set a world record when he was dragged behind a jet car along the pavement for a quarter mile at 236 miles per hour. Number 21, 60 to zero. Setting himself on fire, motorcycle stuntman Dennis Pinto drove full speed into the side of a van, landing still smoldering in a pile of cardboard boxes on the other side. Number 20, Walking the World Trade Center. In 1974, Philippe Petit, a French tightrope walker, amazed the world by walking between the twin towers of the World Trade Center. Number 19, The Rotterdam Building Slide. Famous for doing all of his own stunts, actor Jackie Chan's most memorable moment was his free fall slide down the Willemsworth building for the movie Who Am I? Number 18, The Human Cannonball. Known as the Bullet, David Smith Jr. has been shot out of over 5,000 cannons in his career as a stuntman, and he currently holds the record for longest shot ever at 200 feet. Number 17, The Chinese Water Torture Cell. Placed upside down into a giant water-filled tank known as the Chinese Water Torture Cell, Harry Houdini, the most famous magician ever, always found a way to escape. Number 16, Crushed by a House. The popular comedian Buster Keaton would often do insane death-defying stunts simply to elicit a laugh. The most famous was when he had the front of a three-story house collapse on him. The only reason he survived was because of a single window through which he could fit. Number 15, Tightrope Madness. Hans Zack is a famous daredevil whose routine typically involves walking a tightrope between extremely tall structures like you see in this picture of Yosemite Park. Number 14, the highest hotel freefall. Dar Robinson, the late stuntman who died in a motorcycle accident while filming Million Dollar Mystery, accomplished some of the most dangerous stunts in history during his career. His most well-known was when he bailed out of a hotel window 220 feet above the ground for the movie Sharky's Machine. To this day, it's still the highest freefall ever performed without wires for any commercially released film. Number 13, Ben Hur Chariot Race. Probably one of the closest calls in Hollywood stunt history, Joe Cannett was doubling for Charlton Heston in the chariot race scene when he was thrown from the chariot. Fortunately, he managed to grab onto it before being trampled to death, and the scene was kept in the final release of the film. Number 12, Jumping the Grand Canyon. On May 20th, 1999, Robbie Knievel did what his father had never managed. He successfully jumped the Grand Canyon. Number 11, Jetpack Man. Swiss Air Force fighter pilot Yves Rossi, otherwise known as Fusion Man, recently flew across the English Channel using only his jetpack. Number 10, the Golden Eye Bungee Jump. For the popular James Bond movie, GoldenEye, Wayne Michaels made the highest bungee jump in history from the top of the Swiss dam. Number 9, skydiving without a parachute. Diving out of the side of a helicopter with nothing but a wingsuit, Gary Connery landed on a pile of cardboard boxes thousands of feet below to become the world's first ever successful no parachute skydive. Number 8, the wing walking wonder. Omar Locklear stumbled across stuntman fame quite by accident. He was originally a pilot in the US Army Air Service during World War I where he found himself walking out on his wings to perform repairs mid-flight. After leaving the military, he discovered he could use his talent to entertain the masses and thus gave birth to a popular daredevil pastime. Number 7, Hanging from the Second Hand. Harold Lloyd, one of the most popular actors from the silent movie era, was known for almost always performing at least one dangerous stunt per film. His most famous was when he hung from the second hand of a clock tower by only his fingertips. Number 6, Base Jumping Off a Skateboard into the Grand Canyon. Bob Bernquist, a Brazilian professional skateboarder, rode his skateboard off a ramp, grinded on a 40-foot rail, and then base jumped down into the Grand Canyon in 2010. Number 5. Rally Car Over a River In 2010, Travis Pastrana successfully broke the world record for longest jump made in a rally car when he drove it off of California's Pine Street Pier onto a barge in the river. 
Number four, a strong stomach. In spite of several broken ribs and internal bleeding, Tom Owen was proud of his accomplishment as a truck loaded with 20 kids sat atop his stomach for several minutes. Number three, on the edge. Eskil Ronningsbakken likes to live life on the edge. In fact, he spends most of his time doing insane stunts just inches from certain death. Number two, French Spider-Man. Elaine Robert has free climbed some of the tallest buildings in the world with nothing more than his climbing shoes and chalk for his hands. And number one, the Niagara Falls tightrope walk. Nick Walenda, the Canadian daredevil, would need his passport for this stunt because in 2012 he did what has been illegal for 125 years. He tightrope walked across the Niagara Falls from the United States to Canada in an unprecedented event that took almost 40 minutes.